Good Friday morning, Glads. I'm John Christofferson. And I'm Lauren Wadsworth. And this is our last KWHS News of the Year. Seniors, by this time next week, you'll be getting ready to practice for graduation. The end is near. Hang in there. You can do this. Please see Mrs. Grandizio in the business office to take care of any conditions and fees this week. Return your library materials and pay your lunch charges or get yourself a refund. Doing these things will make your exit easier and smoother. What are you waiting for? Get her done. Underclassmen, you two want to start clearing conditions and fees before you take finals so you can get your grades on time and get your summer started. The deadline to return library materials was yesterday, so you may now be on conditions. See Mrs. Grandizio to get those conditions and fees paid early and avoid the long lines on the last day. All lockers will need to be cleaned out and signed off before you leave in May. Seniors, bring a box or a bag to take your stuff home and better yet, recycle it. The Environmental Club will happily take your new or gently used pens, pencils, binders, and notebooks. See Mr. Cummings in room 204 to drop off your school supplies. And speaking of the Environmental Club, we'd like to give them a huge shout out for keeping our school aware of the environment and for consistently picking up our recycled materials. They have been amazing all year long. Check this out. My name is Mr. Cummings. For those of you who don't know, I run the Environmental Club. About all you ever see us do is we come around every couple weeks and pick up your paper. And a lot of people think that's all that we do around the school, but we do quite a bit more both for the school and for the world. We push to get the filtered water fountains in. But one of the things that most people don't realize that we do is we fundraise. You know, we work concessions, we sell tie-dye shirts, and we use that money to purchase goats. Now, I know that sounds a little crazy <laughs> that we purchase goats, but we send them off to different areas around the world. We work with this company called Heifer International. They send a team in there, then they teach them how to use the goats, how to shear the goats, then how to use that sheared fur. Uh, goats, of course, give milk, so that is wildly popular. So if you have any questions or want to join, Room 204, Tuesdays at lunch. If you'd like to be part of the Environmental Club next year, please see Mr. Cummings in room 204. Step students, your logs are due to Mrs. Griggs today in room 131. Don't delay. And now, we're throwing it to Miss Betsy in the cafeteria to hear what's cooking today and Monday. Happy Friday, everybody! Today we're going to have barbecue rib sandwich, and on Monday we're going to have a cheeseburger. Please, 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 if you have lunch charges, come down and pay them. Seniors! Please come down and get your money out of your account. I, you know, you need to do it quickly because I don't always have that much cash on hand. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, please clear any lunch charges before graduation or final exams. If you have extra money in your lunch account, Miss Betsy can process a refund for you. But don't wait until the last minute or you might be making a donation. Underclassmen, if you haven't already checked out the final schedule, listen up. Our finals start on Monday, May 21st for periods 1, 2, and 3. This is a full day and lunch will be served, so plan accordingly. On Tuesday, May 22nd, we will take our exams for periods 4 and 5 and have an early release at 11.42. On Wednesday, May 23rd, we will take exams for period 6 and 7, and then we'll be released for the summer. Seniors, for the last time, here's our schedule for next week. May 14th, senior finals for periods 5, 6, and 7. May 15th, senior finals for periods 1, 2, 3, and 4. Good luck on your finals. May 16th is senior awards night at 6 p.m. in the Widefield Auditorium. May 17th, senior breakfast at the Cheyenne Mountain Resort at 7.15. Tickets are $22 in the business office, and today is the last day you can buy them. Your family can attend this event. I'm not crying, you're crying. May 18th, mandatory graduation practice at noon in Bowers Gym. Don't miss it. And of course, Saturday, May 19th is our big day. Showtime is 7.30 in the small gym. Please be on time and ensure your family members have their tickets. When we come back, we'll have information for other events happening this week. But first, here's Marissa Trujillo with our Gladiator Sports Update. Good Friday morning, Glads. I'm Mr. Citra Hill, and this is your last Gladiator Sports Update. Ladies interested in playing basketball next year, stop by the meeting this afternoon in Bowers Gym at 2.45. Meet Coach Hass 
and find out what else he has in store for you over the summer. Men's basketball open gyms are underway in Bowers every Tuesday and Thursday from 6 to 8 p.m. If you're interested in joining the team, stop by and meet the new coach and stay to sharpen your skills. Next week, because of graduation practice, next Thursday's open gym will be in the small gym. Volleyball open gyms will run until next Wednesday. In fact, Wednesday's open gym will also move to the small gym because of graduation setup. Ladies, starting on June 5th, times and days for volleyball open gyms will change for the summer. Summer hours will be on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 8 to 10 a.m. in Bowers. Check in with Miss Lacey in room 105 for details and information. Remember, there will be some hot jazz tonight at the jazz festival starting at 6.30 until 8 p.m. Come hear the jazz band perform in this free concert in the WHS Auditorium. Gentlemen, if you missed the tennis meeting on Wednesday, see Coach Porsche for details and information. Our boys swim and dive team is headed to league championships today at Shine Round High School. Our boys have have been stirring up the waters lately and we look forward to hearing some strong results. The track and field teams headed to Gary Berry Stadium on Saturday at 9 a.m. for the Varsity League Championships. Our teams have been clocking some respectable times and placements, so we expect to hear of some great results for State Bird. And now here's Doc with her last health tip of the week and her final goodbye for the year. It's Doc with your final health tip for this year. So we're getting ready for finals, which means a lot of stress. Keys to minimizing stress. Make sure you know what your work looks like. Know what your grades are. Talk to your teachers. Go to study sessions and then build on the skills that you need to improve. Handwriting things makes your brain remember it for longer. So if you write down your notes, you're more likely to do better on your tests. Remember to get eight hours of sleep drink a lot of water, and eat healthy food. All this helps your brain to function at its best so that when finals come, you're less stressed and you do better on your tests. On a side note, I'd like to say thank you for allowing me to do the news broadcast and to be part of your mornings over the past couple of years. I love being a gladiator and I will always, always cherish this moment that you guys have given me to be your doc and to help you with your health tips. Thanks and have a great summer and good luck in the future. Thanks doc for all your help this year. We'll miss you. That's it for our gladiator sports update. Good luck to our athletes this weekend. I'm Mr. Trahill and now back to you, John and Lauren. Thanks Marissa. The yearbooks are here. Today is the yearbook staff's big day. It's yearbook distribution and we are on an afternoon advisory schedule. If you need to buy a yearbook today, you can, but they are on first come, first served basis for $70 cash money only. If you haven't purchased your yearbook, you can get this year's book plus one other book from your freshman, sophomore, or junior year for only $80. If you forget your pen, the yearbook staff will be selling Sharpies today for $1. Students, for those of you who dropped the ball on your courses this semester, you can still make up the credits to get back on track. Register by May 31st to begin your credit recovery classes on June 4th. You can take up to two classes for $100 each. See your counselor for details or go online to register. Student captain elections will be on Tuesday and Wednesday at lunch in the quad. Check out the posters to find out who is running and vote for the best candidate. Today is a hat day for the robotics club. If you do not have your wristband, please see Mr. Bergen or Mr. Nightkirk. And finally, since this is our last broadcast of the year, we'd like to give a shout out to the many people behind the scenes who help us bring you the news. Mrs. Price, Miss Melton, Miss Betsy, Mrs. Abeda, Mrs. HK, Doc, Mrs. Miles, Mr. Shub, and especially Mr. Hoffman. We hoped you liked our news this year, but if you didn't, please drop us a note in room 102 with, with suggestions on how to improve our work. That's all the news we have for today. I'm John Christopherson signing off. Good luck to everyone with exams and best wishes to the class of 2018. I'm Lauren Wadsworth and this was your last KWHS News. Have a great summer.